also talk about the emotional palate and you you say that we need this cycle and we need to experience all the moods to make us fully human. I was hoping you could unpack that a little bit because I know for me, especially, I don't want to experience all the, I don't want to experience the whole emotional palette, especially the difficult ones. So could you unpack that? Because I know a lot of people probably feel the same as me. Yeah. Well, and I feel the same. I mean, who welcomes sadness? Who goes looking for disappointment and loss and failure? None of us. Um, but I do think we have to recognise that being a human walking this earth entails sadness, disappointment, loss, failure, all those things. And they're all part of, yes, what you describe as the emotional palette. Uh, they're all part of the range of human emotions, all of which have important lessons to teach us and none of which would make any sense without the others. So, for example, it's become rather fashionable to focus on happiness as if happiness is a suitable goal for living, as though what we should strive for is to be happy all the time. Uh, and if we can't achieve it by the, 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 the events of our normal daily life, well, we might uh, take some drugs to induce it artificially. Um, I mean, that's what the drug culture is really about. The, sh the shortcut to happiness. Well, this is madness. The idea that we should strive to be happy is as crazy as the idea that we should strive to be sad. And yet, if you're going to say, look, the goal of my life is to be happy, then I'd have to say to you, well, you'll only know what happiness is if, you, if you've experienced sadness, so you better go out looking for some sad things to happen so you can enjoy happiness. Well, of course, we don't have to do that, just comes to us. Yeah. But here's, the, here's the, the really significant thing about this point, Louise, which is it's been buried in our folklore forever, this proposition that we grow through pain. And I think most of us reflecting on our lives would say, the painful episodes, the difficult episodes, the times when unexpected events crashed into our lives and disrupted us and shattered our complacency and so on. We didn't like any of that happening. We didn't like a pandemic coming. People don't like a war or a depression and individuals don't like relationship breakdowns and retrenchments and all those things that happened to us. But looking back, we can often see how having to deal with hardship, deprivation, pain, loss, is what has built our resilience, is what our, has built our capacity to cope with the vicissitudes of life. And everyone's life will consist of brightness and darkness and ups and downs and so on. So I think it's just a matter of saying not, boy, I'm hoping I'm going to be disappointed today because that'll build my resilience, but to accept that when these things happen to us, they are part of the full range of the learning experiences we need to teach us what it means to be human, and in particular, to teach us what it means to be Louise. Yeah. You, you won't know until you've come up against the things that you don't welcome into your life. <laughs>